Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to another one of these lightsaber unboxing review videos that we do here from time to time whenever a new legacy lightsaber drops here in Orlando at Doc Hondars. Today we have Plo Koon. I was pretty excited about this one. I'll get into why I wasn't like super jazzed about this one in just a second. But uh, first we need to talk about the outside of the box. The outside of the box looks fantastic. It's got some like Jedi Council slash Old Republic looking stuff here. Uh, really, really nice. First box that's been decorated. We've had a white one. We've had a black one for the Star Cruiser one. But I think this is the first box other than like the limited edition box. That's like the Ahsoka or the Luke Skywalker Legacy Hilt or Skywalker Legacy Hilt collection. First one with like uh, some decorative stuff to it. It looks really cool. I like this a lot. Um, I wish they would get something new for the logo because I feel like a bunch of these have this this medallion here but uh enough of me talking about that let's take a look at it Now this lightsaber did retail $159.99 for anyone who's curious. I always forget to mention the cost of the lightsabers. I don't know why I forget, I just always forget to do it. So $159.99 for anyone who is curious. Alright ladies and gentlemen, here it is, Plo Koon's Legacy Lightsaber. It is gorgeous. Um, it has this cool blue tint to it. I don't know if that's actually canon or not. I grabbed my lightsaber book just to see, but I'm curious now. Because the reason I wasn't so, so excited for these like I usually am is because it looks really familiar, doesn't it? Well, if you remember on May the 4th, they dropped the Luminara Unduli Saber and it is quite literally the exact same saber except that is gold where this is silver and it doesn't have that blue tint right here there it is and also this lightsaber the luminar one is green whereas the blue green one would be blue now i did see a lot of people speculating online that it actually looked a little purpley in the photo that they released so that is true you can see the photo right here that they released it does kind of look purpley but it should be blue um, but let's check the lightsaber book real quick and see if it's actually supposed to have this blue little thing or if they just did that to differentiate it between the Plo Koon one and the Luminara one that was released on May the 4th. Let's go take a look. Now if you're a Star Wars fan, which if you're watching this video I'm assuming you are, um, you should definitely be picking up this lightsaber book. Uh, this is a really cool guide about how they make them. Each character, even some characters you didn't know, their books, or um, are, sorry, their lightsabers rather. But let's try to find Plo Koon. Okay, so I found it in the book here. Pretty good representation of it. It's a little bit of a glare. Uh, but that blue does appear there, which is really, really cool. I'm glad they got that detail right, actually. Um, that's really cool. <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this lightsaber unboxing video. Uh, Plo Koon is out now. Go grab it while he's still around. I just got news yesterday that the Ben Solo legacy lightsaber is officially sold out and retired at Disney here in Orlando. So if you wanted that, 
better go grab it now on eBay before more people get wind that it is completely gone and you're spending $1,400 on it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Hopefully it's Gwaigon. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always.